you have a little Chinese mini and you want to check hydraulic pressure, here's how. So every single hydraulic system has a test port or test ports somewhere. And this is no exception. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone is the same. It's possible you could uh, go up to the hydraulic lines and tap into those if you needed to. But in general, you're going to find a hydraulic test port somewhere in the system. With little pumps like these, you're not going to find it on the pump, but you will likely find it all in the valve bank. And that's where mine is, right here. This is right by the uh, inlet and outset, well, outlet side. It'll be fairly obvious. Next thing, most important thing really, you need a gauge. So you need actual hydraulic pressure gauges. They can't be uh, like pressure washer crap that you're going to be running between two and 3,000 PSI. So make sure you have the right equipment. You could probably piece together a gauge with the right adapter for under 100 bucks. Or you can get a full set like this for a couple hundred on the Amazon Jungle website. So all you're going to be doing is, I mean, if it's, if you have good pressure, you're going to be doing basically nothing other than this. But uh, if you have to adjust your pressure, you're going to go to your pressure relief valve, which is always going to be next to your outlet. And you're just simply going to be tightening a spring inside. That's it. It's uh, as simple as it gets. So I'm going to fire this thing up and we'll see what kind of pressure this thing's running right now. For the sake of keeping this thing running, you're probably going to want to do it at full throttle or close to it. It doesn't really matter in the, in the sense of it building the pressure. It's just that if it can't uh, build the pressure with the power that it's making, it's going to stall. So either way, your relief pressure is going to be whatever it is. So I'm going to throttle this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the auxiliary function. And I'm basically just going to deadhead the system. I'm running at about 2,500 PSI, so I'm going to go up to this guy. Just going to crack it loose, give it maybe a quarter turn. Tighten it down. Let's see where we're at. About 2,700. I'd like a touch more. I'd like to get about 2800. But you can tell too, the engine wants to stall out more easily. More pressure takes more power. too shabby so there you go pop this stuff apart put everything back the way it was you're done you've checked your pressure you've adjusted your pressure and you're ready to rumble i would say 2500 psi is probably good i just have a lot of clay and crap so i want a tiny bit of extra digging power but like i say you have to be a little bit careful i mean you've obviously got limits with your entire hydraulic system hoses and fittings they're probably not going to handle much more than 3000 psi I don't know if the engine's really going to be that happy with 3,000 PSI or an upward either. 